good day to all viewers today we'll be talking about how the family office space in india is growing and the services they provide to hnis and indian expats we're very happy to welcome mr arjun reddy nra expat settled in usa back in india he has income generating commercial real estate we also have with us Mr Raj Mohan Krishnan founder and managing director Entrust Family Office Raj in your opinion how has the family office space grown in India and how is Entrust Family Office catering to the dynamic requirements of HNIs in India So when we started in 2013 family office was totally a completely a new concept and uh, uh, even today I feel uh, the family office is still uh, definitely a completely a new novel idea uh, but what uh, has changed from then and now is people have started realizing and particularly families who have made exceptional wealth does figure out the need for setting up a family office now it depends on uh, the individual uh, what do you say needs and also uh, the requirements the families decide to engage with a multi family office like entrust or when the families are quite large in terms of the corpus is quite large and uh, the the needs are the quite diverse and more uh, the families set up their single family offices we have examples of both single family offices and multi family offices and entrust uh, is a multi family office and uh, i i believe firmly believe that Uh, the family office space is growing and it's here to stay and it's going to grow extremely fast in the next 5 years in fact the the data shows that from 2019 the family offices the number of family offices were about 5000 and odd it's going to be almost like 10000 it's going to double in the year 2024 so that means there are more and more billionaires and millionaires multi millionaires are going to emerge and these people need uh, the uh, the services of family offices or the requirement of setting up their family offices and that's how i believe that uh, the growth is going to be that's quite interesting uh, mr arjun reddy how did you come across the concept of family office and what was the route you took to find one um, my search for a family office started in the in the us uh, as you know in the us we retire when we are around 65 and uh at around about the same time i lost both my parents uh being the only child uh we had some property in india as well as uh i have property in the us that i needed to decide uh where and how to manage it once uh intergenerationally so in the us and in britain there is a long tradition of family offices and banks that deal with this kind of issues and there are some family offices in the us that are over 100 years old right now so uh i had set up a trust in the us for all our uh, us properties and my whatever i needed to pass on to the next generation and then i turned my attention to india because i was now the custodian of some properties in india that i had to figure out what to do with and manage uh my both my children were born in the united states and there is very little likelihood that they will be returning to india so then it became a matter of managing this property once i pass from the scene and to be able to pass on the wealth or the properties to my uh, to the next generation so i started ser- my search in india uh, and it was a very difficult search as uh, rajmohan can attest to because i i did not know about entrust i did not know about uh, 
uh, other family offices. I knew, I knew about single family offices for some large families and they were in Bombay. I was not, I either had to go to Bombay to hunt for these people or I had to find something on my own. So I, I read and I used to read the Economic Times on a diligent basis and I came across the name of Entrust. And that Entrust was set up to manage the wealth of some of the bigger families that had made uh, a considerable amount of wealth in Bangalore. <coughs> so I tried contacting Entrust. And after a few, few attempts, I was successful and I made the successful connection with Rajmohan and with Entrust and with Mr. Vardhan. And uh, it's been now about maybe two years or three years now that I've uh, been dealing with Entrust and have, are setting up the systems and processes to integrate with my U.S trust and to make everything a seamless proposition going forward. Great sir, good to know the journey. Uh, Mr. Raj, tell us about the services that Interest Family Office provides for resident Indians as well as Indian expats. So Interest started, uh, as I told you, it started in, in the year 2013 as an investment advisory firm and quickly moved uh, to the space of family office. We, we felt the need uh, for uh, uh, discerning families uh, to manage their, uh, their not just wealth, uh, the investments, but there are a lot of non-investment activities which needs to be managed. It could be just taking care of the taxation, it could be handling their uh, family accounts, it could be bills which needs to be paid, it could be travel which needs to be organized. Uh, uh, the, some, some of the concierge services which, uh, uh, which needs to be handled. Uh, apart from that, there's families have built a considerable real estate as part of their portfolio and uh, that need to be uh, uh, supported with. So it could be a buy of the real estate if somebody wants to buy some properties. Obviously, we, we step in and we help. Uh, there could be a prop, uh, clients who wants to sell their properties. Uh, there again, we are there uh, to understand the requirement and identify the right kind of a buyer and then consummate the transactions. Uh, even otherwise, there's a lot of legal uh, tangles which is involved with regard to properties. There again, we step in. So the, the, f the services which are very, very bespoke and customized to the requirements of clients and we have always stood up and built our credentials based on the expertise. And uh, we have a very, very uh, good ecosystem today. We have built internal expertise. We have got external experts to handle some of these uh, activities. And uh, across, uh, we, we have, in, in total, we have about 45 to 50 families which we work with today. And uh, name it, in fact, we would, have, uh, we would have done most of these services for all these clients. And the idea is to uh, offer these bespoke services and give delight to the customers saying that they, they don't need to bother about when interest is, is stepped in and they're, they're just free from all this and, and this need to be informed or updated of the progress of the activities uh, wherein they can just pursue their passions, uh, their whether it's their profession or their passion or their philanthropy, whatever they want to do uh, and uh, interest takes care of their entire burden and, and executes it seamlessly. Great. No, it's quite elaborate uh, in terms of services that you're offering. And uh, particularly for expats again, uh, as I, uh, as you asked me, uh, expats again, uh, the services are, are slightly different than, than uh, the Indian residents because expats are not living in India, they are, they are abroad and uh, they don't, uh, what do you say, they don't have representation but they have some kind of an interest in India. It could be real estate, it could be elderly parents, it could be their folks and uh, they need, they, and some of them have got investments here. And what we do is we understand the requirements. Uh, we step in uh, where it's required, particularly with, when it comes to real estate, whether it's rent collection, whether it's repatriation of monies, uh, whether uh, to take care of their Indian taxation and uh, to take care of their elderly parents. Some of them have got old parents here 
and they want us to be a custodian. We, we keep meeting them on and off and speaking to them on a regular basis. Also uh, take care of their health issues if something is there. So we have, we have mastered this art over the period of last about nine years and we are able to, uh, what do you say, take care of this, all the services. Particularly taxation is big, uh, a big hurdle for, for, for uh, NR expats. And we have experts uh, helping us in terms of handling some of these affairs. And uh, so far so good, we have, been, we have been able to help them up quite well. It's quite interesting to know the emotional connect that you are creating with the families. Uh, Mr. Arjun Reddy, as an NRI, what kind of services did you require from a family office? In my case, we needed someone to manage the properties that we have in India. I currently have our own office, but uh, there is a point where all of us are getting older and we want the next generation of, uh, to be able to sleep in peace in the US. And at this point, uh, I, I see Entrust stepping in and taking over the management of the properties to the point where the properties are either remain or they will get disposed of. And then the assets will then be managed by Entrust and will be finally uh, repatriated across in an orderly fashion to the heirs that uh, are residing in the US. Yes, sir. So tell us about your experience in engaging Entrust Family Office and how the Family Office has provided services to you to meet your requirements. Entrust appointed uh, Mr. Vardhan as a contact uh, advisor uh, on their behalf and we deal with uh, legal services through through Entrust, we have we have utilized their real estate services. We will be using uh, investment services through Entrust going forward. And I see uh, a, a key role where Entrust will advise us with uh, the investment if if we sell the properties. Since the repatriation rules for India are fairly stringent, there's only a limited portion of the the uh, uh, funds that can be repatriated uh, on a yearly basis. So the, a large portion of the funds will remain in India for, for probably maybe for 20 years is what I'm thinking. And these funds will have to be managed and, uh, and processed on an orderly fashion to be able to be repatriated across. Uh, what advice would you give to other NRIs looking for similar services? I have recommended Entrust to a number of my friends um, and there are, there are people in the US who have made large sums of money as well uh, and who also have assets in India. There are friends of mine and acquaintances who have uh, assets and um, family on both sides of the, uh, uh, in both countries or even in more than in multiple countries and I see Entrust to play a key role for, for families to do, uh, to be able to manage their affairs in an orderly and, and precise way and to be able to deal with an organization that is ethical and above board and that will last through generations and be able to help uh, multiple generations in the years to come. Oh, nice. Thank you so much, sir. And uh, thank you, Raj, for your uh, time. And thank you, Mr. Arjun Reddy, for taking out your time and being with us today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.